For this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you all how to remove a background with the perfect results. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to select the person from the background. And the easiest way to do this is to go to the fourth tool down, right click in here and get yourself the object selection tool. And what this will do is it will allow us to left click on the person to get ourselves a selection. However, the only downside to this tool is that sometimes it may make a few little mistakes here and there and may not include certain areas. So as you can see, the elbow hasn't been included and also the part of the flower. But that's completely fine because we can easily fix this by going into here once again and get yourself the quick selection tool. With this tool, we can left click to add back onto the selection and we can hold Alt or Option key to subtract. So you just want to make sure that everything has been included so you just want to go over it and correct the selection. Once you're happy with the selection, you can then go up to select a mask at the top. And in here, we can start to correct up the image even more. So the first thing you'll notice is the hair is faded on the edges and also some of the hair fibers are missing. But that's fine because once again, we can correct this just by going to the second tool down and get yourself the edge refinement tool. With this tool, we want to get ourselves, let's say 100% for the brush size. And all we need to do is left click on the edges on the hair, and this will then refine it and bring back some of those missing hair fibers. But we also need to make sure that we do this area right here and don't leave this missing. We can also press K on our keyboard to switch to a black and white preview. And this will give us a much better indication on the things that are included and the things that are not included. So for example, the one downside to this tool is that it will sometimes leave messy smudges behind. And as you can see, we have one right here. But we can fix this by going to the third tool down and just get yourself the normal brush tool. Once you've got yourself this tool, if you hold Alt, you can take away from this area and just remove it from here. So you just want to subtract this, take it away, and just make the edges a lot more sharper. Now, another problem that you may run into is the edges being really soft. So as you can see from this preview, the edge looks more transparent. And the easiest way to fix this is to just left click on here and fill this back in, making sure it's more solid compared to before. But you also want to make sure that you don't go outside of the edges. And if we have a look at this now, you can see it's a lot more solid. So you just want to do this for the other areas as well. Make sure that this is included and just go all the way around. Another problem that you may run into is this area right here. So sometimes when you're working with hair and the subject or person, you will notice sometimes it will dig a little bit into the person or the skin. Well, that's completely fine because we can fix this by getting ourselves the polygonal lasso tool. And all you need to do is left click to add onto the selection and you just want to go onto the edges. You then want to go all the way around back to the very first one and then left click to connect it up. And speaking of the edges, we also need to have a look at other areas. For example, the hand, which will need to subtract this from the selection. So once again, we would hold Alt, left click on this area and just subtract it from here. Since we don't need the green to be included onto the hand. Go back to the very first one, left click and there you go. This is looking a lot better compared to before. Once you're happy with the results and you want to save this, you want to go all the way down to the bottom and click this magical button called the contaminate colors. And what this will do is it will correct up the edges and if it's faded or if it has, let's say a color cast of a green color, it will fix it up. However, at the moment it's a little bit too aggressive. So we're just going to put it down to somewhere around, let's say 50% go to output to set it to a new layer masked and then press okay. And as you can see, the results are absolutely incredible.
And now if you wanted to, you can get yourself a brand new background just by dragging and dropping this into Photoshop. We're just going to scale this up, double left click to apply and make sure it's underneath the person. Since the person has the flower at the bottom, we're just going to move the person further down and just hide it from here. But we're also going to upscale the background and make it look more realistic. And then finally, if you want to match the person with the background, you can go to image and then go down to auto tone. If you found this video helpful and would like to see more videos like this, click that playlist on the screen and watch the next video.